Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. Nicola Sturgeon, wherever she is today, will be seething. She will be pounding up and down her living room. She will be grinding her teeth in anger, glaring at the mirror and thinking, why have I been abandoned? Why am I being treated thus? And the reason is that John Swinney is abandoning yet again another one of Nicola Sturgeon's flagship policies because it is, quite frankly, wrong. Sturgeon wanted to introduce a conversion therapy ban so that any child who said, but mummy, I want to be sterilised and live my life a lie, would not be allowed to be talked out of it. A parent could not, for example, say, don't be silly, dear, you're a boy. Or they could say, no, no, you're far too young to make this decision. Let's wait until you're older. That too would be a crime. And there are other things. That sort of thing, though, it would, it would make criminals of parents who were concerned over the mental health of their children. There's been an outcry from church, all religious faiths, regardless of background, all the religious faiths are against it. There's been a call out by psychiatrists and psychologists. It goes against the recommendations of the CAS report, which itself yesterday the uh, SNP said that they are going to wholeheartedly back, again, angering uh, Sturgeon. She does have this wonderful lust for the sterilisation of children, and it's very weird. But it's gone. It will not be pushed through, uh, and conversion therapy will not be made illegal. Now, there are already safeguards in place. You can't abuse or anything and do that. But you can have conversations. You can tell your children they're too young. You can say you must wait until they're older. And that is not a crime. And that's how it should be. The parents are responsible for a child until they're 18. No child should be allowed to make that decision. It should only be parental. Once they're 18, they can do what they like. And that's up to them. But of course, if they want to live a lie, if they want to identify as anything, that's up to them. They cannot impose that, of course, on anyone else. They have the right to identify as whatever they want. I have the right to look at them and say, but that's not real, and identify them as what I can see. It's called reality. Now, there are others trying to bring this in and make that a crime. How can you make the truth? A crime. It's a very strange world. But that's how it goes. And that also really annoys Sturgeon. But it is nice to see that Swinney is delivering the coup de grace to all of Sturgeon's plans, proposals and legacies. Long may it continue. Not too long, of course. He hasn't got long left. But if he can up his game and get them all done by Christmas, then everybody will be happy. Except you know who. Thanks very much. Bye.